All right, question number three, uh, similar to number two. We're going to look at it with a different approach. Um, negative point three three t equals point zero five. Okay, so in class we've talked about um, writing exponential as a log and and vice versa. I mentioned the base is kind of like a swinging pendulum, so if you move the base over, you add the log. If you had a log and you move the base over, you lose it. So this would be the same idea as applying a natural log to both sides, but we're going to just take a different approach. We're going to write this in log form. So we're going to take this E, move it over, and it's going to become natural log. So that would mean we would have a negative 0.33t equals this would now be ln of 0 0.05. Okay, so that's understood base E whether you write it or not. At this point, we almost have T by itself. We just need to divide by the negative 0.33 to get rid of it since it's being multiplied. So divide by the negative 0.33. This will divide and give us 1, which leaves us with T equals whatever this is. So we're going to apply this. We're going to put this in a calculator. This is not something um, that we can do by hand. I'm going to clear out what I have, and I'm going to do natural log. We're going to do 0.05, and then we're going to divide by a negative 0.33. And uh, we want to uh, round to four decimal places here. <clears throat> so we have 9.07797. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. The fifth place is a 7. It is bigger than 5, which means this 9 would round up to 10, which means that would carry over and then round this 7 up to an 8. So we're looking at 0 .9078. 0 .9078. 9, sorry, 0 .078.